phoenixtypewriter.com here. We're going to look at a IBM Selector 3 today. And we're going to remove the uh, keyboard membrane on a Selector 3. This stuff right here that hangs off the side. It goes underneath the keyboard. At this point in time, these are very stiff and brittle and can actually impede the operation of the keyboard when they get that way. So when we turn this on, you can see it moving. It's, it's actually touching this, causing this key to be stiffer for all the keys under here. Spacebar 2, it, it has a tendency to catch and be stiffer. You don't need any kind of interference on this keyboard. Otherwise, you know, you're going to have problems. So, we're going to remove that. The secondary problem this machine has, right off the bat, is the carrier. It's catching on these covers. I have a separate video for those. But if you tab this over, you can feel it catching on that middle one right there. And it's also catching on this edge over here. there. But that's not what we're going to attend to. We're going to do the keyboard. And I'm going to just show you how to start tearing this stuff out of here. And mainly it's just a matter of picking at it and getting it out of there. So let's turn this off. So yeah, just start peel off what you can. My main goal, my main tool for this is going to be these hemostats. So you can grab this stuff and just start peeling it off. Go up here, peel this stuff out of here as much as you can, biggest chunks you can. And then what's left underneath this, these key tops, you can slip this underneath here and grab it, pieces of it, sections of it like this. Grab it, grab sections of it. Get right up between the stems. Sections of it. And sections of it. Down here by the space bar again, just take off as much as you can. By hand. Like that. And over here. Thing, but then when it gets hung up in there, so yeah, just keep at it here, pull in here, and pull this out, and pull it out, get your hemostats up right up in through the keyboard here. There's some over here. Pretty easily accessible right here. And you can still get up through here, get out chunks at a time. Just slip it up on here between the shafts. Just keep on getting it out of there. It will eventually all be done. Looks like the uh, space bar came loose here. Gotta be re, re glued onto this little piece here. Must have been loose to begin with. Oh, we got a bunch of this stuff already. Let's just get a little more from this side. Then we can move back up to the top. 
right this one is yeah. same thing applies up here you can stick the uh, with that's in this direction too and get right between those key tops a little bit pull that out right between there pull them out right between there pull it out between there pull it out just keep on moving moving along Moving along. Moving along. And if you want, with this stuff, if there's some in the middle here, you can actually get right between these key tops and, and get out like that. There's something in the middle. So that's always possible. Two. So. So you can come out just like that. And you can look in there and see if it's a little bit left right here. Then, the best way to do this, to verify everything's out of there, is to look up through here. There's a little bit more right there. So, a little bit more right here. Again, take a look up here and see. Looks pretty good. That's it. So, that's how you take that stuff out of there. It's not necessary anymore. It used to be in there first. Dust protection, sound protection, but it's rotted. All right. PhoenixTapWriter.com, good day.